So guys, welcome to episode number two of season two of my FIFA 16 Leicester City crew mode. Yes, we are now in season two of this series and in today's episode we have a huge episode we're still in the transfer window also in today's episode we'll be having the pre-season tournament final so this is our chance to pick up our first piece of silverware for the second season and also our first piece of silverware for this cream mode series we'll also be kicking off the premier league season later on in today's episode so if you guys do want to enjoy today's episode go support it by dropping a like rating thank you guys so much for support on episode one of season two the lesser city crew mode is back for season two in the comment section down below let me know on players that you want me to sign down below in the comment section and make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also if you did miss the if you did miss the last episode go ahead and catch up there will be a full series playlist link down below in the description so like i did say we're still in this transfer window hector bellerin is a player I really do want to sign, and so is Valero, the man who is at Real Madrid. He's a very young centre-back, and he will work well with Kurt Zuma and more, uh, our other two young centre-backs here in the Leicester City Science. And like I did say, if you did miss the last episode, go catch up on it, because in the last episode, we did have the group games. In this preseason tournament, we advanced from the group stage into the semi-final. We won that game on penalties, so now we're into the final. It is Mainz versus Leicester. And we did play Mainz in the last episode. We actually did play them during the group stages, and the game did end in a nil-nil draw. So this is going to be a very big game. Like I did say, this is our chance to pick up our first piece of silverware for this crewmate series. Last season, sadly, we didn't pick up a piece of silverware. We almost did in the FA Cup and also the Capital One Cup, but we did not. But this is our chance to pick up our first piece of silverware, obviously also for this second season. What a start it would be to the second season if we were to pick up that piece of silverware. It might just be a pre-season tournament, but it would be awesome to see our Leicester City side pick up a piece of silverware. We got off to the perfect start in the 30th minute. We actually did pick up a 1-0 advantage. So we're 1-0 in the lead here against Mainz, and I'm pretty sure it was Damari Gray who did pick up the goal. As in the 65th minute, Jamie Vardy plays the ball through to Andy King, 1-1 -on -one with the goalkeeper. And after 66 minutes, it's Mainz 0, Leicester City 2 and we are on the perfect road, the perfect track to pick up the first piece of silverware. But in the 89th minute, Mike's actually gonna hit back. That is a fantastic shot from their striker with his back turned to goal, putting that one into the back of the net. That is a very, good, very good finish. So scores are now at 2-1 and Mice are back into this game with only about a couple minutes to go, uh, including stoppage time. But at full time after the 90 minutes, it is gonna end Mice 1, Leicester City 2. We've picked up the first piece of silverware, Damari Gray and Andy King picking up the goals. No goal from Jamie Vardy, but he played his uh, job as he did play through Andy King for the second goal. So that is a great win, guys. We've picked up the first piece of silverware. It's a pre-season tournament, but also remember that this piece of silverware also comes with five million pounds in the transfer budget. Kicking off this, this second season, it is really important that we get that extra transfer budget because if you guys didn't miss the last episode also, we also did make a few signings. Martin Odegaard and Pereira have joined the club. They've joined Leicester City. Pereira was on loan during season one. He's now a permanent Leicester City player for season two. Picking up our first piece of silverware, which is awesome to see with this Leicester City side. So it's Sheffield Wednesday who do come with the offer for Matty James. Like I did say, we're still in this transfer window. Sheffield Wednesday with a 1.4 million pound bid for Maddie James. I've count offered it to two million pounds. Definitely something a Sheffield Wednesday could accept. As Hector Bellerin, Arsenal have accepted the transfer off fights now to do the contract for Hector Bellerin. Imagine Bellerin and also Valero, the centre back from Real Madrid. Real Madrid have accepted uh, our offer for him. And now it's just doing the player terms and they would be two great signings for our defensive partnership. Hector Bellerin has joined the club. Welcome Bellerin to Leicester City. What a signing he is going to be. But on the other hand, it's Valero who doesn't accept the contract. So I'm going to give him four years, crucial first team player, and also 60,000 per week, 10,000 more than what he's getting uh, at the moment 
at Real Madrid. And also, player has been sold. It's Hoban, the man that we did sign from Watford last season. Didn't play too many games. He's departed the club. But Bellerin, what a signing he is going to be. I cannot wait to get into games with Hector Bellerin, the right back, who has loads of potential in career mode. He's only 21 years of age. And I can't wait, like I did say, to get into games with Hector Bellerin, see how he does develop. And you guys know that with this Leicester City side, I'm looking for young players, youth players to build up and to obviously that goal of winning the Premier League one day in this career mode series and also winning the Champions League. A Sheffield Wednesday, like I did say, my count offer for Matty James was definitely something that they could accept and they have done that. Matty James looked like he's going to depart the club but with some good news, it's Valero who is who who has accepted the contract. And yes, Valero is looking like he is going to become a Leicester City player. Wait, he actually is a Leicester City player. So we have accepted him into the club. Valero, welcome to Leicester City. Leicester City. Matty James has been sold to Sheffield Wednesday. There's a lot of transfers going on right now. Dean Hammond is going to be leaving the club for Leeds United, the um, aging central midfielder that I am really not going to use in this season. Definitely, the way that our team is looking, it is looking like a very strong Leicester City side. Let me just tell you what the signings that we have made. Valero and Bellerin in today's episode. Also, Pereira, who's come on from a permanent transfer to Leicester City. And also, Martin Odegaard, who is now at the club. He will be trained for the upcoming month. Remember, guys, that with my trainings in career mode, it is one month dedicated to one specific player. It was July. It was dedicated to... Uh, Damari Gray and for this upcoming month in August it is dedicated to Martin Odegaard as it is the French side Knights who come with the offer for Robert Huth and obviously Robert Huth is definitely a good player here at Leicester City not going to take anything away from him but he is aging and obviously with my young centre-back partnership it's Valero Kurzuma. they're the main two centre-backs in our lineup that is our side that we will be going into the first game of this Premier League season with the likes of Maris and Bolo Damari Gray Jamie Vardy will be starting as the substitute but he will be subbed on midway during this game don't worry guys Jamie Vardy will be subbed on but and Bolo, he went up by a couple of overalls last season. We did sign him June, January, and he did make an impact. As we head into the first Premier League game of this season, it's Leicester City facing the newly promoted Hull City. Yes, Hull City did get uh, did uh, get promotion Sorry, last season as they are two-player debuts. Obviously, Valero and Hector Bellerin coming to Leicester City. Valero from Real Madrid to Leicester City and obviously Bellerin from Arsenal to Leicester. And I cannot wait to jump into this game against Hull City. City. As we take a look at my Leicester City lineup for this game, it's a 4-3-3 formation. You guys did take a look at it. It's Martin Odegaard, Pereira, and also Kante in the midfield. Schmeichel will be starting in goals. Kurzuma also as a centre-back. Schlupp as a left-back. Damari Gray out on the wing, like I did say, and Mar is also out on the wing. This is the Hull City lineup. They're starting a 4-4-2 formation. Hernandez will be starting as the striker. McGregor will be starting in goals. Davies and Dawson as the centre-back partnership. Mark Schwarzer will be starting on the bench for this game. Maybe his last season here at the club. But in the 42nd minute, ball gets played to Pereira. He looks to get off to the perfect start in this Premier League season. He had an unbelievable season last season. That is why we did bring him into the club on a permanent deal. But the first half and a bit of the second half wasn't really going our way. I had to make a few changes. You guys can see the likes of Jamie Vardy and Moore will be coming on. But Jamie Vardy got into the action straight away. In the 70th minute, he plays the ball wide to Damari Gray, who is going to play to Jamie Vardy. He was a bit off balance when he did take this shot, as you guys can see, and it's a save from the Hull City goalkeeper. But Jamie Vardy already giving warning shots, already giving the goalkeeper some warning that he is on the pitch right now and looking to pick up a goal. As we do receive the ball here with Kante in the later stage of the second half, Pereira plays a through to Jamie Vardy and it's Pereira playing a through to Jamie Vardy the substituted Jamie Vardy who did come on about 10 minutes ago he's made a uh, an impact straight away in this Premier League season. Jamie Vardy picks up the goal and we lead Hull City 1-0 at the King Power Stadium. Could we get off to the perfect start in this Premier League season, picking up three points? We're looking like we are going to do so. 
With only 10 minutes to go, Jamie Vardy picks up the goal and we lead Hull City. And the 89th minute, it's Pereira who plays it to Kante as we're going to look to make a 2 0. He plays it through to Damari Gray. Damari Gray is going to cut it inside. He plays it to Raid Mares, who takes a touch and off one foot, Mares has put the ball into the back of the net, but he was actually offside. The linesman has called Mares offside almost making it that 2-0 advantage and securing that three points. But at full time after the 90 minutes, it is going to end. Leicester City won, Hull City nil. The perfect start to this Premier League season, picking up three points. One goal, obviously. Keeping that clean sheet, which is also very good to see. And we are also undefeated to kick off this second season. We have not lost a game yet which is very good to see, as it's Yeovil Town who come with a chance offer for Ryan Watson, the 23-year-old, will be uh, departing the club, definitely a player who re isn't really going to do much, as the French side Knights come with another offer for Robert Huth, I was thinking about accepting it, I don't really know what I was going to do, but I did just go out and accept it, Huth will most likely be leaving the club, that depends if the transfer does go through us. We do another training session with Martin Odegaard. Didn't have the best of debut in that previous game against Hull City, but let's hope that he can deliver uh, throughout this season in the second season in this Leicester City Cremo. So we've actually got off to the perfect start in the second season, but there was a comment in the previous episode during episode number one that was just overwhelming. All you guys were are suggesting me to go out and sign Dybala. This man has loads of potential. He's at Juventus, 81 overall, 22 years of age, and I'm going to do what you guys wanted me to do. Also, Charlie Austin wants to lead the club. Charlie Austin last season, I did say it in the last episode, had a decent season, but does want to leave the club. You guys want me to sell Austin, so what a transfer that would be. Dybala coming to Leicester City and Charlie Austin going to Juventus. We will be facing Spurs to kick off the next episode. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know on players you want me to sign, and I'll see you all on my next video.